I'm Brad Hauser. I live here in Austin, Texas. And I play live for a living five nights a week, pretty much. Started as a sax player when I was 12. Started playing bass when I was 18. And by the time I was in my early 20s, was a bass player full time. And then in the last 10 years or so, started playing a lot more horn also. And it's been good. 20 years ago, we were famous and on the road with Yee Brickell and New Bohemians. And uh, I did that band start to finish. The group still performs instrumentally occasionally these days with the original members. These days in Austin, I play in Susanna Schofel's band. Uh, I play in Boombox ATX, it's a large funk band. One of my main projects is a band called the Dead Kenny G's. We're like a thrash bebop trio. And that's been really fun. That group is a pretty hair-raising experience. My biggest influences are, well, Jocko was a big influence. He's still in there. Now it's definitely like James Jamerson in the 21st century. It's funny, I think I have a reputation for being kind of a fast player, but it's all about big fat notes placed really well. At times I like my bass to have like a pure sine wave sound where you hear no string sound whatsoever where it's just this big mm. As a bass player, I kind of like most of the time it's, I don't know, in a strange way to be invisible in the music. Although if I stop playing, you'll know it. 98% of the time though, it's about being the big round guy in the back who's kind of behind a curtain. I increasingly through the years have become really more desirous of and comfortable in that role. Make a big cushion for everybody else to inhabit. The Astro cable has a rounder sound. I like that about it, because round is good. Spiky is not in the bass world. It was like the difference between consumer audio gear and really high quality mic pre's and stuff. It had a unifying kind of roundness to the sound. And that's the difference that I perceive with this. 